Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd discuss removing and replacing backgrounds and portraits using Luminar Neo. Now, Luminar Neo has gotten some new masking tools that really help uh, with uh, different effects and such. And one of them is the ability to detect portraits or people in a picture. I'm going to show you how to use that to replace your background, which is a really useful uh, uh, function in uh, photographs. So uh, to, we're, we're going to use some photographs from pixabay.com. These are just stock photos uh, that I got off of there that I thought were pretty good examples. So here's a photograph of a man standing in a city somewhere. And it's a nice photograph, but let's say we want to change this background. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to uh, layer properties and we're going to go to masking. And you can see we have a bunch of choices here. We can kind of manually mask it out with a brush. Uh, and do a few other things here. Uh, mask AI. But there's portrait background right here. And, and this should pick out uh, any people or the main people in the photograph. So if I click on this to some calculations and if I hit remove right here which appears after it calculates uh, what the subject is or the portrait is it does a really good job here of removing the background on this uh, particular person right here sometimes there are um, problems with the mask because it gets confused and it can't tell if certain areas are part of the person or part of the background and uh, so you can actually always go back into this and um, adjust the mask later, but we're not really going to go into that today. Uh, so let's say we want to add a different background in here. We're going to go up here to the plus, and, we're, and I already have a f some f backgrounds selected, but we could hit the plus here, and it would give us a choice of files to open. But I'm going to go ahead and use this background right here. Now, by default, it kind of puts it on top and it makes it half transparent so you can see what's going on. We're going to click here and drag this down so the background goes behind the man. And you can also see the background's a little small for this particular picture. So what we're going to do is we're going to move it up into the corner like that. And we're going to hold shift down and we're going to just drag this to resize it. You need to make sure you hold down shift because otherwise it won't keep proportions and it can distort the background. And so the other thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to layer properties and you see the opacity is 50%. Let's bring it up to 100%. And we have what looks to be a pretty good uh, replacement right here. Uh, one thing you've got to be careful of uh, is you know the direction of the light in the background and the foreground. Uh, this isn't isn't perfect. It looks like they're coming from slightly different angles, but at least they're both coming. Uh, there's a light coming from the right side on both of them, even though it's not a perfect uh, match. So that's something to kind of be aware of when you're picking your backgrounds. Now, the other thing on here is we can actually select which uh, either this photograph right here with the man in it and make separate adjustments to that or separate adjustments to the background. One thing that's currently missing in Luminar Neo is, I wish there was like a filter where we could just blur this picture that we're using as a background or soften the focus in it. Really can't do that now in, in uh, this version of Neo. However, what you could do is you could export this entire photograph and then you could go and use down here in portraits, por portrait bouquet, which you can blur the background in and uh, so that's the way you would have to do it to export it and bring it back in because the portrait bouquet won't work on this photograph because when we're just looking at the background photograph there's nobody in it and if we look at the foreground photograph there's no background in it so it can't there's nothing for it to blur so um, that's one little quirk about this uh, kind of setup so let's look at one more uh, photograph real quick and we're going to go to this one right here all right we're going to take the second photo right here and there's a picture of two people walking through a city i'm going to show you a couple of other things uh about the uh, portrait background so 
first we're going to go up to uh, layer properties and go to masking and we're going to go to portrait background and we're going to go to remove all right you can see right here it's picked up part of the background it got a little bit confused here i guess it thinks that this is part of this woman's hair but it is not uh, so what we can do is go to brush refinements and you see it puts up this mask and uh, we have background object and transition and so right here we want to make sure that we uh, select transition first and we're going to just go here with the brush to get out that one part right there so we've erased that and I'm going to put click on background and make sure we put that back in there and so now if we go back to properties it's remove that area uh, so now we're going to bring in another background on this particular photograph and one that I have for this is this other background here once again we're going to drag it down so that it's behind it we're going to increase the opacity on it and you can see it doesn't quite fit so we're going to move the background up to the corner here hold shift down enlarge it so that it fits now this doesn't look this looks okay but it doesn't look quite right to me I think they'd look better over to the left some so if I go up here I can actually move them wherever I want and over to the left as well and so so now they're over there and that looks a little bit more natural to me or the way I would like it in this particular photograph now you can see there's still some problems here right around her hair right here we may want to take out that there's also some right in their hands if you look closely here and if this were like a normal colored concrete here instead of brick you probably wouldn't notice this but there's some white or light gray in there between the thumb and the rest of the hand right here that it didn't take out in the mask you could adjust that as as well so you can go back and uh, go to masking again in this picture and just do some details on that as well but we're not going to do that uh, in this particular uh, video but the, just to let you know you can always go back and look at the mask again and so like for for example we could go and so if we select this photograph up here and we go to masking we can go show and we can see where the mask is and then we can go back in and we can go and take a brush by going up here and then do any details in it i'm dean and this has been photo blue and that's how you remove and replace backgrounds in luminar neo i will see you next time don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.